Okay, let's let's do an example of a poison, uh, and let's make it a very real example. Okay, in uh, 2019, the average number of patients in the emergency room during a 12-hour shift was 1.7 per hour. On November 13th, 2020, there were 35 patients during a 12-hour shift. What is the probability that this is random chance? Um, a very real-world example. Um, this is how they set staffing levels and things, and it's based on the Poisson. How many times I expect to have, and what is the probability that I won't have enough staff on a given night? So the first thing I want to notice is that these are whole numbers, 35 patients. You can't have half a patient or a third of a patient come in. These are whole discrete numbers. That being said, that doesn't mean my average has to be a whole discrete number. In this case, it is 1.7 per hour. So I got 1.7 on average number of people coming every hour. Again, this is for a staffing and thing. This is my average. So let's go back and uh, review what a, a mean and standard deviation is for um, a Poisson. So, so the mean is equal to the average number of the interval. In this case, the interval is one hour, right? One hour, 1.7 per hour. And then I'm going to take that uh, number and I'm going to multiply it by the number of intervals. In this case, it's 12. So it's going to be 12 times 1.7. So in our case, our, um, our average during a certain interval is 1.7 per hour times 12 hours. So it's 20.4. That is our mean. That's our Poisson mean, 20.4. So the standard deviation then would be the square root of our mean. And it's just like uh, all our standard deviations. Plus or minus one is about 68%. Uh, and plus or minus two standard deviations, 95% of everything will fall in that if it's random variation. Three standard deviations, 99.97%. Uh, so, so we got our standard deviation. And this is our, how many, uh, this is for the 12 hour interval, our 12 hour period, right? So in our case, we, uh, we found our average and we got 35 patients. What is the odds of that just being random chance? And I do the math, and I found that the square root of 20.4 is 4.52. And again, this is our standard deviation. We're going to treat it like any standard deviation. So let's go to Excel. This is the function I want, equal to Poisson.dist. And in parentheses, I'm going to put my actual value, which is 35, my mean, which we calculated to be 20.4, and true because I want 35 or more. Now, th this isn't quite right, right? Because what Excel will do, what we're telling it now is we want 35 or less. We want 35 or more, right? So let me show you the trick to that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take 1 minus what we had, and that will be what's on the right of 35, 35 and greater. So it's um, 1.00 minus Poisson disk. And when I hit enter, I get 0 0.001123, or about 0.112%. So it's about a 1 in a 1,000 chance that this is just random. Uh, so we might want to conclude that uh, something was happening in 2020 to make the emergency rooms uh, busier. And uh, if we string two or three of these together, I won't do it, but um, you can find out pretty well, did, uh, well, there's no doubt. There's no doubt something happened in 2020 that was really exceptional. It's uh, very, very, very rare. When you ever hear an engineer or a mathematician or, or statistician uh, say there's something for sure went on, we just don't say it. But if you string two or three, four or five, six of these uh, nights together, just like we did in the, uh, in the previous uh, unit, you know, with the cars and things, you find out that this is like a one in billions and billions of chance. Uh, but, but I wanted to show you the complete uh, Excel spreadsheet. There's a problem. I just picked a cell by random, stuck in one minus Poisson uh, disk with our numbers. And that's what it, what it kicked out. That's the Poisson distribution. Uh, hopefully it's a very real um, example. Uh, it is a real example. Um, yeah, it drives home the point.